Hi. Uh, I'm Ron from The Craftsman. Uh, I think in January we did a, uh, a video of uh, cleaning a 1910 Stickley uh, high chair. And uh, I was surprised people actually watch these things. I mean, considering I'm doing them and I'm calling them things. But it was a helpful thing uh, I found out. But people asked, you know, specific questions. They asked, was the dressing just good? Was the dressing good for just antiques? Could they use it on new stickly? Could they use it on all of their furniture? Could they use it on Harden? I've had all kinds of brands of furniture, you know, they, they've asked about. And uh, one of the people pointed out that I talk about this continually and I said nothing. All I did is do uh, what I wanted to do, clean the chair. This dressing is good for anything. The biggest single expense most people have in furniture is their kitchen, and they never, never think of it as furniture. We do, I do. I designed kitchens for 40 years. Never the same kitchen, interestingly enough. So we're gonna use our kitchen because we're normal people. I know that's hard to believe, but we're, we're just like anybody else. I have grandchildren that are messy, I've got dogs, we've got cats, and then you, you've got me. So these are white oak cabinets. And this is the dressing. This is a, a cotton rag with the grain. With the grain, up and down with the grain. And where the grain goes the opposite direction, you notice, I go the opposite direction. And what I'm doing is I'm wiping off I've already dusted it, the cabinets. And these cabinets are inlaid with brass, aluminum, and blood wood. I designed the kitchen to be an arts and crafts kitchen that would not be stereotypical when you looked at magazines and you looked at other things because I designed it. I wanted something that said we were craftsmen. So every kitchen I've ever done was done not with inlays necessarily, don't misunderstand. We made kitchens that were unique to the people we would be working for. So a woman wouldn't walk in a room and say, oh, I have that dress at home. I don't like that. I never liked it. I always liked doing things that were specific for specific people. I still design with the same attitude I don't have a shop to build, but I still design. So the bottom cabinets, you notice, are entirely different as well. The panel construction is different than most panels you'll ever see. And they're done in a way that was very tricky. I enjoyed the idea, I enjoyed doing it. And you'll notice it doesn't take much dressing. The dressing, the little bit that I put on the can, or from the can, I'm sorry, uh, was enough to do the uppers and most of the bottom. You notice I just went over the hardware. If the hardware was all exposed, I would go over that as well. You're gonna leave this on for about five minutes. We tell you five to seven minutes, boy, wow. You see the dog and the kids. Jesus. Uh, and I try to move quickly because, to be honest, you aren't going to really want to watch me do this terribly slow. And the same results are going to be if I do it fast or if I do it laboriously slow. As long as the dressing is on the cloth, it will su suffice. Again, white oak, I think I've said that maybe once or twice. The grandchildren were here making dog cookies. My wife, Melissa, asked if I wanted them out as a prop. And I, I thought they were a little tacky. I seem to always be on my knees. <laughs> I, like, I like the way they look, obviously. I'm gonna give it five minutes. And I think within that five minutes, we're gonna do some other things. These are diapers, I'm gonna wipe down with diapers in the end. They're old ones, they're soft. This is where the dogs, two dogs, 
standard and uh, uh, what is Labradoodle. It? Labradoodle. Thank you. Thank you very much. Labradoodle. And you look at this, you want to remember this is my kitchen, our kitchen. It's atrocious. And there's no other word for it. The dog woodwork is covered with spots from having a, a bath. The cat loves to dip its front paws in the water and swim. I don't understand it. I've never seen a cat do that before. The knobs are hand turned. The inlays are aluminum, ellipses. I do the dishes often and I'm a little messy probably. Uh, my wife is being very polite and not giggling and saying all the time. But uh, it's hard to believe you can get dog water up that high. Again, white oak. Will it work as well on cherry? Yes. Maple? Yes. Plywood? Yes. Does it have to be solid wood? No, I just said it could be veneered plywood. It doesn't really matter. With the grain. Everything is done with the grain. The reason is if you scratch something, and you're scratching it in the direction of the grain, it never shows. And that's basically why you don't interrupt the grain pattern of wood. I actually like doing this. I like the way it looks. Then you should do it more often, honey. Well, three times a year is what I suggest. And we, we admittedly, we don't do it three times. We do it twice a year normally. And I think that corner could use it on a weekly basis. Well, it's only because of the cat. If we had cat manners, we wouldn't have these issues or problems. I think she's part raccoon. Yeah, well, she's looking for fish. <laughs> and again, it's not a lot of dressing. The coal in the can is very small. We ship this sealed. An older woman, uh, to be honest, a very old woman, called me up and asked if she was supposed to pry out the seal. And I said, yes, ma'am. And she said, well, I'll tell you a trick. She said, I just pierce it. God, that looks nice. And from then on, I did the same thing. I've had uh, another old woman. These are older people, older than even I am now that a uh, woman called and said, uh, I want to tell you a trick with your furniture dressing. I said, what? She said, I use it on my floors. I said, we have a 200-year-old uh, house that has the original floors, federal, and I do the same thing. She said, how do you do it? I said, I take two diapers, and first I take a diaper and I wipe all the way across the floor. The floor was uh, 13 or 14 feet wide, by 30 some odd feet was the entryway. Remember, it's federal and formal. And I would wipe it all the way from one door to the exit, the opposite end of the room. Then I would come in with diapers on my feet and I would actually wipe down my boy. She laughed and laughed. She said, I have my help. It's good to have help. Can, <laughs> can we get some help? Yeah, you've got me. She would have her help put several catfuls into her wash water. I, and I said, Does, what's it do? She said, it brings the luster back up to my floors. And I said, seriously, she said, try it. So I did. I went and bought a, a sponge mop that was dedicated to that hallway. And I would do a couple uh, catfuls in a gallon, not a gallon, but a pail of water. She was correct. You pulled the dust, certainly, but what you left was not uh, a finish. You left the finish of the floor. It was, uh, it was startling. Uh, you can think of your own tricks. We recommend it for cabinetry, but here's a woman that outthought me. This is all standard to you, should be. This is open. I'll show you something different. 
and then I'll come back and wipe down. But uh, this is uh, one I get of the dizzy bathrooms. while I'm doing this. This is one of the bathrooms, and I like this bathroom a lot. Um, it's not that I designed it that I like. I like, I just like it. It flows. This is uh, oak, and I made the stains, and it's inlaid again. This is copper, aluminum, and the white inlay is uh, ivory off of piano keys. So it's off piano keys, and you'll notice I'm not doing it with the grain. Now I am. I want the copper to get the dressing on it, the stem of the, uh, of the tree. These are ginkgo leaves. They're all handmade. The whole thing is handmade. It was uh, an idea I played with for two or three years and ended up doing, I think, uh, three or four different cabinets, never uh, kitchen in it, always an accessory piece. Because uh, when you do work like this, you don't want to overdo it. You know, en enough is enough. A little sugar is good. Too much sugar is really bad. Uh, okay. So it has not been five to seven minutes, but everybody likes to see something. So, again, with the grain. What I tell people to do is in trying it on their kitchen, do one cabinet door next to another. So you have this door you're doing and this one you're not. You can see the after and you can see the before. Cotton cloths and cotton cloths are not, not uh, a, uh, how do I say it, not a composition cotton. Uh, not something that wants to be cotton, but 100% cotton. Men's t-shirts, women's t-shirts, things like that, or diapers, old diapers. If you have a source for diapers, that uh, there's a diaper service, call and ask if you can buy their old diapers. And we did that for, I don't know, 35, 40 years. And the diaper, we went through two, three different diaper companies that came and went. But we stayed and always bought out their inventory when they went under. That's basically cleaning your kitchen cabinets. That's the upper. And the water stains that were here, the ones that annoy both my wife and I, but the dogs like it. It makes them feel at home, kind of like in the woods again. Now, the, these are the dogs that you may have seen on our Facebook page, Henry and Willie, who are big supporters of uh, keeping up house maintenance and also big supporters of furniture polish because they figure the more polish we sell, the better treats they get. So yeah, like they're, they're, I didn't, I, I, I wasn't aware of this. They are, I mean, they are all about it. Uh, they're both sleeping at the moment or outside to have them be part of this. <laughs> I told you we were a normal family. So how to clean your kitchen cabinets is the same principle, principle that you would exercise, that you would do in cleaning your own furniture. This is furniture. There's no different be difference between our kitchen and yours, except like we have drawers underneath our sink. <laughs> what you want is you want to Keep the finish from breaking down. You want to keep it from drying out. That's what our furniture dressing actually does. And it's to clean this entire kitchen. It's like a half an hour, 45 minutes. And I mean to do a nice job. 
one that you know uh, you're proud of. You look at it before, you look at it after, and say, you know, people replace kitchens. They spend twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars. I want to tell you, Ron wanted me to cut away while he was trying to get up and down, but I think he did pretty well. So there's no no need to cut away. Sheldon doesn't have these issues on the Big Bang. On fun with flags? Yeah. yeah. So we kind of mimic Sheldon and uh, what's her name, Amy. Amy. And Amy uh, Farrah Fawcett. Farrah Fowler. Yeah, thank you. Same thing, uh, but different. You can get the dressing on eBay. You can get the dressing on our website. You can get it on SD. Etsy. Etsy. Eventually, we have it set up to go on Amazon and uh, something else that I can never remember. Um, we ship, normally the day we get the order, we ship UPS ground, U, UPC, excuse me. U USPS. I was close. Not very. Well, it's, we had letters, I knew that. And it normally takes, I don't know, a week, a little over a week to get it. I'm gonna wipe off the green cabinet. And oh, once again. We're going to, Does Steven Spielberg have these problems? We're going to exit our camera crew. But uh, remember, this video is rather short to me. It's probably intensely long to you, having to watch and listen to me. But uh, this work is irreplaceable. Uh, nobody's going to do what we did. Nobody's going to do what I did. And I expect the next people to own this house, to have the kitchen, to have all the woodwork in this building. I don't expect it to be a museum. I expect the same things that Lissa and I have. We have grandchildren that are they're full of life and full of the devil, which is fine. And I'm kind of messy. I'm just a guy. And I think that basically sums up cleaning, cleaning your kitchen cabinets right down to uh, this is my bathroom, and I'll do this because I've got everything out, and it'll only take probably five minutes to clean the rest of the bathroom, and then I'm going to go garden again. So, if you want any more information, all you have to do is get a hold of me online. It's www.thecraftsman.com, and it's a direct link to me and the furniture dressing. Thanks for being patient and listening and watching me make a fool of myself. Be good. Stay safe.